this time we'd like to call Dr. Wesley and Esther Shaw, the founders of Grassroots for Israel. Clap your hands, all you people.
I'm, my name is Miriam Rosenbaum. I'm a Holocaust survivor, and I attended this church gathering this evening, and I'm overwhelmed. It was just so wonderful, and I don't know how to thank those people. They are full of love for Israel, and um, I, sometimes, many times, I get very worried I, about Israel and about the Jewish people because I remember what happened in 1939 when the Germans uh, came to Poland when I was 12 and a half years old. But uh, now it's different because we have Israel and it's also different because we have friends like that. It's not the same thing. We have people that stand with us and I'm hopeful for a good future for everybody all the good people. I am so moved, it's gonna be hard for me to speak. We just finished an amazing evening here at the Pentecostal Church in Cooper City, Florida. I'm Sarah gold Rafael, and I'm director of Stand With Us Southeast, and we sponsored this event with the hopes of supporting um, this church who really supports Israel. Uh, it was more than I could ever have expected. The passion that these people had blew me away. Over 500 people attended. We've been running a summit for three days. We had panels on anti-Semitism, Learning Israel 101, our Stand With Us booklet. People were so engaged. They want to learn more about Israel. They want to learn the real facts and the truth so they can support it effectively. I had children coming up to me tonight from high school. I had a girl stop me in the bathroom from sixth grade saying, thank you for coming. There's a man walking over here with his baby. People came with their children. I wish that we could get the same passion out of some of our synagogues that we saw tonight out of this church. I hope that Stand With Us can continue to do these programs and support these people because they stand with us and they support Israel. Greetings friends and lovers of Israel. This is Dr. Wesley Shaw and I'm speaking to you in my home today because I want to open my heart to you and speak about the passion that we have to support Israel. We had thought for years that we really didn't have the talent to do anything for Israel, but after we went to Israel and we walked the streets of Jerusalem, there's something that clicked in my soul. And on the way home on the plane, I told my wife, uh, we may not be able to do much, but we're going to do something for Israel. Uh, and so began a, a long journey, and uh, we prayed to Hashem for help uh, because we knew we couldn't do it on our own. And uh, uh, some of the things that we've done uh, have been to I wrote a book on anti-Semitism and uh, uh, how I felt that Christians could overcome uh, anti-Semitism and how they could better understand the Jewish people. And uh, we did what some thought was a crazy thing. I wrote a uh, piece of legislation. I took it to my local Congress uh, person and. Uh, uh, she saw it and said, oh, what is this, Wes? And I said, this is a, a resolution to support Israel. And uh, so she said, well, that, it kind of scares me. And I said, don't be afraid. Just take it to your colleagues and see what they say. And uh, she took it to the various colleagues. And uh, uh, afterward, I thought, well, maybe this was just another crazy thing that I did. But... Um, uh, she saw me, it was about two months afterward, she said, guess what happened? I said, what? She said, that legislation that you wrote passed unanimously. All the Democrats, all the Republicans were for that. And she said that's the first time in the Illinois House that she can remember 
that everybody was uh, unanimous in voting for something. So I think that uh, shows that there's a great grassroots support for Israel uh, in the Midwest and, and elsewhere in the United States uh, and uh, I might say around the world too. So we, we wrote that, uh, that legislation and then uh, beyond that we, um, we wrote a covenant. We, uh, we uh, wanted to support and have people sign a covenant that they, uh, they could read and they could believe in. And uh, so essentially it, it, uh, the covenant says that we, we agree with Israel that they have a right to exist. They have a right to defend themselves and that we agree to stand with them and stand up against anti-Semitism wherever it raises its ugly head. And um, also we, we agreed that, uh, that uh, Jerusalem should never be divided. And we also agree ultimately to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And uh, so we had... Uh, over a thousand people now that have signed that covenant and we've taken it to the internet and we have it in the form of a petition uh, under change.org uh, uh, and our, the name of our organization is Grassroots for Israel and if you look under Grassroots for Israel on uh, the internet and uh, there's a place where you can sign this petition and become uh, affirm yourself as a supporter uh, uh, of Israel. We have done uh, many things uh, that uh, we have tried to do for Israel, uh, but the most effective has been the Stand for Israel events. And we started out small with uh, different uh, breakfast meetings with pastors, and then ultimately we did uh, two uh, medium-sized events under uh, a tent. And uh, this last winter in March, we did a major international event. It's the first time we did an international event um, with people from all over the world. And it was on uh, the internet uh, all over the world and uh, we had almost a thousand people there. Every time we do an event, we garner more supporters, more people will sign the covenant, more people are excited about Israel, more people want to travel to Israel. So it's important that we continue to do this thing. Um, we have people, we just had a call today from Minneapolis, the pastor and leader from that state wants to have a, uh, a Stand with Israel event uh, like the one in Florida. We have uh, someone in Kansas City that wants to do a similar event. We have one scheduled in Chicago and we have a pastor in New York. Uh, we have folks in California. So there's huge potential of raising many hundreds of thousands, even millions of uh, Pentecostal Christians to support Israel and so this is our time to do it but it costs a lot of money the event in Florida cost uh, almost twenty thousand dollars but we had a very generous uh, anonymous gift of ten thousand and then other smaller gifts the church was generous in, in what they did in providing food and and uh, different things and so we had a very successful event so we have a model to go by we we've been doing this and we know how to bring uh, the Jewish and Christian leaders together and uh, build a coalition of support and uh, so we're excited we have a great passion that out of this we're going to reach many many people and we're going to help Israel to survive. But we need people like you that will partner with us that possibly will give like this one uh, uh, person gave 10,000 or 
maybe uh, you could give five thousand or a thousand or maybe some benefactor could give a larger amount we're very good stewards uh, we personally haven't taken any money for ourselves it's all gone toward producing the events and uh, we just have such a great passion. We see the potential here, and uh, we hope that some of you folks will also likewise join with us. John, John F. Kennedy once said, uh, speaking about a time of crisis, he said, if not us, if, if we won't do something, then who will? And if not now, then when? And these are the questions that I'm asking now. If, if, if we're not going to do it, who's going to do it? And if we don't do it now, uh, the enemies of Israel are going to get the advantage. And uh, we don't want to see that. We want to see Israel be successful and, uh, and the Jewish people survive. And uh, we believe it is the will of Hashem and that we're, we're doing his divine will. Thank you so much for, for uh, listening to us, and uh, shalom and blessings to you.